the Secretary of State said we must, we must only accept the highest standards and act where standards fall short. My constituent, Paul Calvert, bravely exposed the North East Ambulance Service's management failures and, indeed, criminal negligence of cover-ups of patient deaths. Mr Calvert, who gave me his permission uh, to raise his case, I met with him in person last week, has been bullied, harassed, blackmailed, but he still refused to sign a, a, a non-disclosure agreement. They offered him £41,000 on condition uh, of his silence in destroying the evidence he has of wrongdoing. All Tomorrow, we anticipate his employment is going to be terminated. Mr Calvert and grieving families want a public inquiry into the North East Ambulance Service. Does the Health Secretary agree and will he outline how the messenger review will protect NHS whistleblowers like my constituent, Mr Calvert? Yeah. Mr Speaker, can I thank the Honourable Gentleman for bringing that to my attention about the particular case of uh, Mr Calvert. My, uh, my Honourable Friend, uh, the, uh, the Health Minister, has listened to that carefully as well. She is meeting with some of the families that have been affected uh, by that uh, very shortly, and Mr Calvert uh, was someone she would reach out directly to as well. It is right that we... I am very concerned about what I have heard about this ambulance service, as, as the Honourable Gentleman, as I am sure the whole House is, and I'm not satisfied with the review that has been done uh, already. Uh, and, I, and I do think that we need a much broader, powerful review. And uh, I will be having more to say on this very shortly.